back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do the try a story tag, which I have been really enjoying doing, and so I want to continue doing it to sort of keep it rolling, keep it exciting keep introducing myself to new short stories and authors and fun things. So I have a collection of five different books that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to read the first story from each. These are all collections that are written just by the one author, so they're not anthologies, they are short story collections. And I'm really excited, so there are definitely some here that I think I'll like and some that I'm not really sure about. We'll just have to see how it goes. So. Let's get started. The first one that I have to give a go to is Tales from the Fragrant Harbour and this is by Gary Kilworth. I believe these are all short stories that he wrote whilst he was travelling around Hong Kong. I don't really know an awful lot about it. It says it's split half and half into general fiction stories and supernatural stories and I actually got this one from FantasyCon when I went there in 2014. Dean, I think it was. So I definitely should try some of the stories from here. I believe there are some stories that are written from a Chinese point of view and from an expatriate point of view, so it definitely sounds like it could be a really interesting collection and hopefully one that I'll like. I'll definitely report back and let you know. The next collection that I have is one I'm really excited to try because I know that there was recently a film made of one of the short stories in this, and that is Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. This is, I believe, the first collection from this author. It's a beautifully published book and I really hope that I like it. I've heard great things from Joe from Final Blow Joe and from Rachel from Kalanadi. Both of them really seem to rate this so hopefully I will too. The next collection I have is called Diversifications and this is by James Lovegrove. Again this is one that I got for free when I went to FantasyCon so I really don't have a clue about what it is or what it's to do with. Apparently it's his second collection of short fiction and it's a swirling kaleidoscope of ideas, language and wordplay. In this book you'll meet robots living in the flesh world, travellers who vie to explore the most exotic alternate dimensions and viruses that spread by speech. Staying with the sci-fi theme, the next collection I have is Obelisk by Stephen Baxter. This is a short story collection of I think a couple of stories from his other series, like their tie-ins to his main series, and then some random ones I guess. And the final one is a collection I do really hope I love because this was gifted to me from Mercedes for I think Christmas or my birthday or something, not even this year, it was like the year before this year. So it was a while ago that she gave me this, it's The Last Animal by Abby Jenai and I know that it's one of her all-time favourite collections so fingers crossed I like it as well, um, hopefully I will, we'll see. So I'm gonna start with this one and I will report back to you as soon as I've read the first story from this, so let's go. Okay so I just read the first story from The Last Animals and I loved it. It was so good. It was called The Terror Birds and it was about a young boy who lives on an ostrich farm in the middle of Arizona. It's quite a weird story or setting for a story but I really really liked it. I don't want to go too much into the details of this because I feel like it's a story that really nicely unfolds and I really enjoyed kind of discovering what was going on but essentially this young boy who's only about eight or nine runs away from home into the desert and no one understands quite why because he's had a happy life and he's not upset with anyone, he's never had any real problems but he just one day ups and leaves and there's a big search for him and they find him and no one knows why he did it except for him. It's told from two point of views so we get his mother and we get the young boy but this is told years later so they're reminiscing and I just loved it, like absolutely loved it. It was so so good. I can totally see why Mercedes loves this collection now and I should have read it earlier because I genuinely just really enjoyed that story. So if they're all like that, all in the same vein, this would definitely get a high rating from me. I can't wait to read this. So that's my first one. It's gonna be a hard one to beat. Okay so I just read the first story in Obelisk which is called On Christ's Plane. I wasn't a huge fan of it, it was pretty I mean it was a pretty short story and there wasn't a whole load of stuff that happened. It follows two different sets of people, two Martians and one girl from Earth and the girl from Earth is called Natalie and she is coming on a school trip to visit Mars, obviously this is set in an age when that is possible, and she 
kind of goes around the outer atmosphere of Mars. She never intends to land, but she gets into a crash with Jono and Vikram, who are Martians cycling in the upper atmosphere of Mars. And they get into a crash and they all end up stranded and no one is looking for them for a few days. So they have to survive. It wasn't really that entertaining to me. It just felt a little bit like it, it wasn't enough of a story. It was just kind of a thing that happened. It could have been part of a bigger novel, but it just didn't feel like a complete story on its own. It just felt a little bit lacklustre um, and also a bit predictable. I just read the first story in this collection, which is called The Head. I realised that all of these on the front cover are actually the names of the stories inside the book, so that's pretty cool. So I just read The Head and it was a story all about a world where robots and mechanical machine people are the dominating force organic meat based people do not exist like humans don't exist um, but they are in the process of inventing them they're starting as a robot race to invent these flesh like people and one of the people that we're following the robot he is kind of against this he doesn't like the idea of it he's worried that these organic people are going to take over and I just really like the concept because obviously it's flipping things on its head we are the dominant force on earth humans but we love the idea of creating robots and this story kind of flips that and has robots as the dominant force and them liking the idea of creating organic people so it's quite a cool story definitely an enjoyable read um, quite a quick one only a few pages long but yeah, I like this one. Okay, so I just read the first story in this collection, which is called The Tower of Babylon. It follows a young man called Hillelum, and he is a miner on Earth. And he is part of a mining crew, and they are mounting an expedition up the tower, which goes up to heaven, basically for centuries and centuries on this version of Earth. Everyone, every person from every corner of the world has been building a tower to get to heaven and it's almost complete. They just reached where heaven begins, it's called the vault, and they need a mining crew to go up to the top of this tower, which takes months, it's a long, long journey, tunnel through and get into heaven. So Hillelum and his various colleagues go up this tower and we are following them throughout the story going up this tower it's amazing like it's such a cool idea i loved the idea behind this story i just thought it was fascinating and then the way it turned out too i i loved it was beautifully written really really cool and definitely something i haven't seen before and really original so i loved this i mean it was just it was great and i'm so excited to read more stories in this now because yeah it was fabulous so so good so if they're all like that, I think this will be really great. And I just finished the first story in this collection, which is called Chandler's Coffin. Now this collection, as I said before, is divided into two halves. So the first section of stories is all realist fiction. So it's all like realistic, no supernatural SFF stuff. But saying that, I still found it like a really nice little story. It's only 10 pages, it's super short, and it's called Chandler's Coffin and it's about a young man who goes to Hong Kong and that's where he is and he's just kind of living his life there but he meets a Chinese man and the Chinese man believes that he is very very lucky because his birth date is the 8th of the 8th 68 which is a very very lucky number in Chinese law eight um so the man asks him to bet on a horse for him and he wins a whole load of money and he sends Chandler this gift which Chandler thinks is a coffin and so he's a bit scared about opening it and it's kind of the story of what happened and what the gift actually is. It was quite a short little story, quite an interesting little premise. Of those five that I've just read, I have two clear winners for me but I don't know which one to go for so I need your help. The two collections that clearly were my favourites were these two, The Last Animal and Stories of Your Life and Others. Please do let me know in the comments below which one you would rather that I picked up first. I did like all of these collections, I think all of them were interesting except Obelisk wasn't as gripping as I thought it would be, but all of them were interesting. So I'm hopeful that I'll like them all, but for sure these two were the ones that really did interest me and grip me and make me want to read on and on and on. So I'd love to have your input, please do tell me down below which one you would rather see me read first. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll probably do this again sometime with some more books because I do really love it and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye! Thank you for watching.
I'm 50 old today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.